Hi, I'm Chris Stegall with MK Partners. Thanks for joining us for another one of our videos here. Today, we are talking Pardot and one of my favorite features in Pardot, uh, custom redirect links. So if you're not familiar, custom redirects are a tool for tracking link clicks anywhere on the internet. So not just in your Pardot emails, not just on your landing pages, but social media, uh, collateral that you bring to trade shows, um, tracking, you know, individual, we'll get into it all here. But today we're gonna create a custom redirect so you can see how that works. Um, and then I'll show you what happens when someone like me clicks on it and what we get on the back end. Um, but real quickly, I guess we should probably start with uh, some of the common use cases for custom redirects. So uh, first and foremost, ads, if you're running banner ads or newspaper ads or any sort of paid promotion um, and you want to track the effectiveness of that campaign, um, obviously having a the ability to track who's clicked on which link um, is tremendously helpful. You can see which ads are effective at driving engagement and driving the, the call to action that you're championing for this campaign. Um, so you've got banner ads all over the web, you put a different custom redirect in each ad, and that way you can audit which ones are getting clicks, um, you know, compare the results you're getting from the ad sellers to your actual results. Um, the only thing to note is that custom redirects won't work for non-prospects. So the person has to already be a prospect in your Pardot instance um, before you'll start seeing the benefits of tracking their clicks. Uh, next obvious use case, social media. Uh, you're posting links on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, uh, directing people to white papers, directing people to your contact page. Um, and obviously, you know, you want to be able to track those clicks without having to build standalone versions of each page in Pardot. Custom redirects allow you to do that. Uh, linking to third-party content. So one of the great things about the Salesforce ecosystem is how available they make information. They have tons of case studies, customer stories, uh, analyst reports, things that both as a partner uh, we're interested in and for our clients to help share best practices, to help share what uh, industry competitors are doing and help them more effectively shape their orgs. Um, so we, you know, I tend to share a lot of the stuff that I come across through Salesforce. But if you're sharing that with a prospect and you want to see if they've clicked on it or, you know, gauge the effectiveness of the things that you're sharing, then using a custom redirect for that gives you the ability to do it. You'll put in your pardot redirect URL that you send to prospects. It will redirect them to the third-party content at Salesforce. And now you're getting some feedback in pardot for the content that lives outside of your system. Next use case would be email. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, pardot does track clicks in email, right? Like it's keeping track of where people are clicking, what device they're on, et cetera. Um, but the way Pardot works, it's tracking clicks based on the URL. So in a standard email, you know, let's say my call to action is, I want you to download the newest app that we've released. So my call to action is gonna be like, hey, get it today. And it's gonna take you to the app exchange where you can install it in your org. Um, because the goal of my email is that call to action, I'm probably gonna have a few links driving to that app. Um, Pardot would treat a click on any one of those links as a click on all of the links, which, you know, good for tracking engagement and, you know, doing our completion actions and moving people around lists and managing our prospects, but not super effective at helping you gauge uh, sort of more granularly the effectiveness of your messaging. I want to know which button drove the most engagement or which copy got people to actually click on the link that was embedded in there. So with custom redirects, even though I want all of these different parts of my email to link to the same URL, I can make three separate custom redirects all pointed at our destination. But now I'll be able to track who clicked on which one and get more granularity in my reporting um, and become a more effective marketer in the future. Last but not least, uh, live marketing. So this is, you know, you go to a trade show, uh, remember? Uh, when you go to a trade show or your sales reps are doing a demonstration, maybe you've got banners, you've got uh, flyers that you hand out or, or business cards even. Um, 
wouldn't it be nice to track the traffic that you know those URLs are driving or track the QR code uh, as effectiveness when you put them out on tables uh, around the cocktail hour? Man, yeah, I really miss live events, huh? Um, so let's say you go to an event, you set up your booth, you have your banners, you have your flyers. Instead of just having a URL on there that takes people to your website, say uh, www.mkpartners.com, that I can't track. Um, so instead, use a custom redirect with a vanity URL, something like events.mkpartners slash trade show or learn more. Um, and then somebody who goes to that link is going to hit our custom redirect. They'll still land at mkpartners.com where we want them to, but we'll be able to see if that banner that we brought is actually driving traffic. Your sales team can use custom redirects on their business cards or email signatures, and that way they'll get information from Pardot as people are engaging with those. Um, so you don't have to have sort of a static side to your marketing to account for sales give them a custom redirect with a vanity URL, change what it's pointing at based on the events they're attending and the things that they're doing. And that way they can still harness that prospect data and be more effective salespeople themselves. Um, and you don't have to go printing out new stuff every time the event changes. Your vanity URL stays the same, just go ahead and point it somewhere different. So I think uh, that is a good initial run through. Uh, I'm going to jump into Pardot now and create a custom redirect for you. Maybe I'll throw my face back up on the screen so that I'm down here. Um, okay, so Pardot home screen, you've probably seen this a million times. Custom redirects live right here under content in marketing. Custom redirects. To go ahead and create a new one, we will just add a custom redirect. Now let's give this a name. We'll call this my video example. Have to put it in a folder. I made an example folder for this. I thought examples found it. Also need to assign it to a campaign so that when prospects click they get uh, categorized accordingly. So I made a little example campaign in here as well. And then destination URL. This is where we're actually going to point people that click on our redirect. So uh, to give you sort of a use case, I want to do an example of uh, that third party content I was talking about. So every week, Kaylin writes up one of these what's going on in the world of Salesforce posts. I read them on Friday and plan my week accordingly. Um, they're a great tool if you haven't checked out our blog. It's over on Medium, Creme de la CRM. Um, you'll get posts from me every week, posts from Kaylin, uh, videos from the team. Um, so it's a really great place to stay up to date in the world of Salesforce. Um, so these posts are full of helpful links to the events. Um, for instance, Salesforce Anywhere, three tips to sell effectively and close deals from anywhere. The link you know, takes you to a little form to fill out to access the webinar. And now this is hosted by Salesforce. So our par.org, we don't have access to the information from people filling out this form. But if we wanted to use a custom redirect, this would be our destination URL. So back in our creation screen, our destination URL is going to be that big, long webinar one. Our vanity URL will be, say, webinar and list. You've got Google Analytics parameters you can enter and completion actions. So if you're going to use um, custom redirects to help segment your lists, um, this is something that that I like a lot, especially on sort of our own webinar content. Um, if you're hosting a demonstration or a customer story or a training webinar um, and you want to post a link in the chat to some help or to reach out and get some additional support, um, using a custom redirect for that will allow you to then you know, use completion actions and say, hey, everybody that clicked that support link, I want to put them on a list called webinar needed help. 
Then when the webinar is done, I'll have a handy segmentation list of everybody that clicked on the link and needed help. And now we can send an email to all of them in Pardot that says, hey, we noticed you needed some additional help on that webinar. Here's our frequently asked questions. Here's an additional guide to support. Here's the best way to contact us. And that way you can really personalize the customer journey, um, targeting them with the information you know they're engaged in or interested in, as opposed to emailing everybody afterward and being like, hey, if you needed more help. Um, I won't set up any completion actions here, but you know, if we wanted to, we would add them to a list called needed help, say. Okay, and just like that, our custom redirect is created. And now we have our tracked URL, that webinar and list vanity URL we created, and our destination URL, where we want people to end up after clicking. We can also see all the prospects on that list. And right now, there are none. But let's go ahead and edit this blog post. And now, instead of using the standard Salesforce URL, We'll use our custom redirect URL. Go ahead and save and publish the blog. And now, wait for it to spin. All right. Now, somebody reading through here says, oh, yeah, I'd like to sign up for that. They click on the three tips to sell effectively and close deals from anywhere. They're taken to the very same form here again. Submit to sign up for the webinar. And as far as they can tell, it was all just a very straightforward webinar sign up. But if we hop back into Pardot now, refresh our custom redirect, look at that. We have ourselves a prospect who clicked this. It's me. Ta da. So that is the power of custom redirects the ability to insert a little bit of uh, analytics, a little bit of tracking in between the prospect and their destination. So if you haven't tried using custom redirects in Pardot yet, give it a shot. Uh, it'll change the way you post on social media, the way that you, uh, you know, enter your destinations when you're doing ad buys, um, planning your email campaigns to give yourself some more tools to gauge the effectiveness of your messaging. Um, and they're one of the easiest things in Pardot to set up. Pretty much out of the box, enter the destination URL, enter the vanity URL you want people to see, and you're good to go. Um, in future videos, if you'd like, uh, we can go into other use cases for these custom redirects. I can show you what it looks like when we segment off of the webinar to send out support emails. Um, let us know in the comments below what more you'd like to see or how you're using custom redirects. Uh, please like and subscribe over here. Over here, over here. Like and subscribe to our videos um, for more information like this. And uh, once again, thank you for joining us. Hope you have a wonderful week, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.